how are you? Well, look at that. We had one that was turned over. Two that were turned over. Have you been um, trying to figure out a way to... Um, oh my goodness, we have more than that. Alrighty. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Coins. Okay, it looks like that was all work-related. Um, you may have been... We're not taking them, obviously. Those were from my pre-shuffle, but... Um, you may be looking at some way to um, increase your finances, and it may be a little bit of a waiting game for you. It might move very, very slowly. You may currently be in a period where your finances are not where you want them to be. It may be moving very, very slowly for you. Um, but uh, you're kind of in a stalled state. You may need to try to find a way around that. All right, Taurus, this is going to be for December 10th through the 16th. December 10th through the 16th. Welcome to all my old and new subscribers. I truly appreciate your presence here at the channel. And uh, thank you to all of you who have liked, commented, shared. Please continue to share. I greatly appreciate that. And continue to comment. I thoroughly enjoy reading your comments. Also, thank you to those of you that have donated to the channel to further its development and to those that have been ordering personal readings. If you need a personal reading, visit EmpressMoonTarot.com. This is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And no sign bashing and comments, please. Cross watchers, don't bash my Taurus viewers. I won't let them bash you either. <laughs> All right. Taurus, December 10th through the 16th, please. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and will be adding a Romance Angels and a Wisdom Oracle card at the very end. So, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. We have the Two of Cups. Beautiful. The Ace of Coins. Oh my gosh, you've got a great week so far. Death. That's actually a good card, y'all. Don't fear it. <laughs> uh -huh. The Chariot. Can you see that? we got some lighting issues here. The Nine of Coins. Okay. The Ten of Wands. The Queen of Coins, the Lovers, the King of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Palace of Swords, which tells me that there's, there's, um, you're going to be coming from a place of communication this week. Communication appears to be possibly with regards to a love relationship and the in movement or change within this love relationship. Um, it's possible since you're ending up here with the nine of coins that some of you may be looking at being independent um, and single. For those of you that are single, you may meet somebody and there may be a great deal of communication coming in from that as well. Do see here we have a lot of communication um, both with with those as well as uh, the Palace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So we start out the week with some sort of connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic connection, but it's a very deep connection, uh, often a soulmate connection, especially when we see like this sort of star, you know, illuminating illuminating the swans and the cups here and I in their mirrored mirrored image and only slightly different in coloring so I feel like this this is some sort of very very deep bond I, I think this deck focuses more on it from a love perspective especially since the swans necks are creating a heart here so I feel like this is going to be more of a love relationship for you Taurus and um, It's very emotionally fulfilling, very affectionate, very loving, very kind. It's only at the early stages. 
with this Ten of Wands, you may have, prior to meeting this person or while you just recently started seeing this person, you may have been going through a great deal of burdens in your life in all areas of your life, Taurus. And, um, you know, we had just discussed briefly the financial matters that came up during the shuffle. And so all of those burdens could have left you very, very depleted. And this, this new deep connection may have been a very welcome change for you. Now, if, this, if these burdens are from a connection with another individual, that might be part of what you need to communicate with, with them about but I'm seeing a very deep loving connection and so I'm not really sensing that these burdens have to do with that I'm feeling more like they're from external circumstances um, you are getting to a point of stability though after meeting this person as the week progresses there's the potential for some brand new opportunity here with this Ace of Coins. Now that could be an opportunity in love, it could be an opportunity in your finances, it could be an opportunity in your career, it could be an opportunity in school, it could be a personal opportunity as well. Um, I feel like it's it's something that, in, in this particular deck, there's a, a, a big focus on the strength here. So I feel like this opportunity is one that is is very 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 much going to give you strength and and make you kind of stand out from the crowd having this buck down here with i never even bothered to count how many points it is but that's six on that one side it's probably a t looks like a 12 point buck you know so the 12 point buck <laughs> that's that's a survivor right there survivor so i feel like you know this particular opportunity is going to be one in which it gives you a great deal of strength it gives you a great deal of prominence in some area of your life um, you're going to be seen in a in a very a very good light good light it's possible that this opportunity is coming because you have proven yourself in some area of your life please ignore the com the noise out in the hall um, with the queen of coins here this also tells me that it's going to be very stable this opportunity is going to be very steady, very stable. Um, you may, the work or whatever this particular opportunity is, um, may provide you with an opportunity to give to others and put the needs of others before yourself. Um, you may have to do that with regards to this love relationship as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, you might have to consider them with regards to this opportunity. I feel like this opportunity is going to bring an end to something in your life that you've been wanting to let go of and needing to let go of. And there's going to be some sort of transformation here for you because it is an end of a cycle and the start of a beautiful new beginning. And there may be a little bit of fear there. I feel like this new opportunity is related to um, this particular love interest. It's probably um, with this lover's card, you may have to make a decision about this particular relationship. Um, it also could be a very, very deep, 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 rapidly developing relationship that, um, you know, is helping you to let go of things from your past in order to move forward in your life and other areas. Cherry, it's definitely about that forward movement, quick, rapid forward movement. And that forward movement is going to come as a result of some form of communication. Now be careful, Taurus, because if you are the one who is delivering a communication, the King of Swords, while he is very honest and forth, forthcoming with, with his communication, he sometimes can be a little bit too harsh in his delivery. And that could cause you problems um, in your relationship or whomever it is you're talking with. So, you know, be careful not to be too abrupt in your communication. But the communication going, you know, between you and another person is going to bring some clarity into your life. Um, some clarity possibly about whether or not you want to remain single or not. Um, if you are in a committed relationship and this does not apply to you in that, that sense, um, you may be looking at ways in which you can um, climb higher in 
the lat climb higher in the ladder of, of your work or um, gain some sort of higher status in some area of your life because sometimes the nine of pentacles has to do with that that self-reflection and you know a, a high level of success as well so I feel like this this is probably mostly related to s success in some area of your life whether that's in a love relationship or some sort of business situation now re regarding our, our greatest greatest advice that we have here for you Taurus I see do not fear move forward with with uh, you know in, in trust um, be open and honest and direct with your communication as well as be you know very nurturing and calm and giving with others don't fear the end of the cycle here Okay, Taurus, December 10th through the 16th. Please comment down below about what this is related to you. Um, once again, no sign bashing, but I'd love to hear because this can go in so many different, different directions. Taurus, December 10th through the 16th, please. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, there may be something about this connection that is so different from what you're typically used to that, you know, it kind of, kind of, you know, you're having to kind of talk it out with them because you don't really know how they react or what they're thinking or, you know, what direction they, they see the two of you going in. Um, Keep an open mind. Definitely won't apply to those of you that are married because you're already you already had an open mind um, when you met your significant other. So, Angel of Miracles, I love this for you, Taurus. Open your heart and expect a miracle. This is telling me that that you've probably been a little bit closed off because of something related to your past, which is that ending that needs to occur. But it looks like it looks like a miracle may be coming your way, Taurus. So hold on to hope. Have a beautiful week. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave the channel. Please uh, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you soon.